So it's time for you to either purchase your first stamping platform or replace your old one, but which one do you go for? Now we already know that on Craftstash we have a plethora of different stamping platforms for you to choose from. So I've taken the first two on our list, which is the Creative Craft product stamping platform and the Tonic Tim Holtz platform as well. And I'm going to compare the two. Now we're going to cover things like the price, the size, the features that it claims to have and the ease of use as well. And I'm going to give these two platforms a score out of 50 with each individual marking being five out of five stars. So stay tuned to the end to see which one of these two comes out top. So the Creative Craft Products one comes in at $22.99. This is excluding any um, discounts like the VIP membership discount, which would take 10% off. Now, if you don't know what it means to be a VIP member, you can check out all those details down below. So this one being $22.99 and being the least expensive of the two, I'm going to give this one five stars. They're both really reasonable prices, but the Tonic Tim Holtz one comes in at $25.99, so a little bit more. So I'm going to give this one four stars for price. Now size-wise, we can clearly see that the Tonic Tim Holtz platform is larger. So the um, Creative Craft Products one is six by eight inches. So that one's going to get four stars because it's not quite as large as the Tonic Tim Holtz one, which is eight and a half by eight and a half inches. So I'll give this one five stars for being slightly larger. Um, it really depends though for yourself on which size projects you prefer to work on. Now it's also worth noting at this stage, we're jumping into the features uh, section here, that each of these does have um, a no border area to it. So they both have that, which actually means despite the fact that the plate is either six by eight or eight and a half by eight, you can stamp on a larger piece of cardstock. So the Creative Craft Products one has three edges which are free for you to move your cardstock or paper around in so that one gets five stars for that feature and the tonic tim holtz one has two edges here but i don't think that makes too much difference whether it's three or two free edges so i'll give this one five stars for that also now onto the features. Now both of these platforms have almost identical foam non-slip bases. So they're both going to get five stars each for this feature. And they both also have a full magnetic base. So the entire base is completely magnetic across. So again, five stars each for those. Now I must admit the Creative Craft Products platform, I do really like that you get four magnets rather than two. And in addition, the magnets come with their holders, which are much easier to pick up than these ones, which I always find I have to slide off to the edge of the base to be able to pick up. The ones in the Tonic Tim Holtz one also seem a lot slimmer and they do actually mention on the packaging that they are extremely fragile too, uh, which may well be the case with these ones, but they are larger. And again, you don't have them exposed in the way that you do here. So I'd imagine they're more durable. So I'm going to give the Creative Craft products five stars for the magnets and uh, the Tonic Tim Holtz one because they do supply magnets and not all platforms do. I'm going to give this one four stars for that. Now, both platforms come with measurements in both inches and centimetres. So the um, Tonic Tim Holtz one has inches and centimetres across two edges here on the actual base. They're really nice and clear to see. Um, they don't have them on the lid, but you can see through the lid to those measurements if you need. The Creative Craft Products one has them engraved on uh, two edges again on the base, both centimetres and inches. A little bit harder to see there, but when you close the platform, you do also have them printed on the lid again, inches and centimetres, and they are really clear to see. So I think both platforms get five stars for that feature. Now this next bit is a huge thing for me and it's about lining up your stamps before you actually stamp. Now we have the grid on both of them. I really like how clear the grid actually is on the Creative Craft Products one as opposed to the smaller and embossed grid but we'll come to that in a little while when we talk more about the plate. Um, so I'm just going to do a piece of stamp, a little bit of stamping with uh, each of the platforms. Now I'm going to put a piece of cardstock in here. This is actually 
slightly smaller than my stamp is. So with each one, I would usually put my cardstock onto my, or rather my stamp onto my cardstock. I would fold over the plate and then I would pick that up. Now, sometimes you have the tendency to accidentally move your paper or your cardstock despite your magnets. Um, you might decide to pick up and move your stamp slightly. And when you come to stamping, let's just ink this up. I'm just going to use one of the Textures Geometric stamps here and I'm going to use a VersaFine ink pad. Now, when you fold this over, one thing I really love with the Creative Craft Products one is that you actually have these springs on the side here, on the corners, and also on this side too, in the corners. So all four corners have these springs, and I don't know if you can just see down there, there's actually now a gap between the stamp and your paper. So when you first place this down, you can actually ensure that that is on the paper, leveled up where you want it to be or where you intended it to be. So as I said, I did move my paper purposely so I can ensure that is in the right place before I then press down. Now I'm going to use uh, this tool from Craft Stash. It's one of the Creative Craft Products brands and this stamp pressure tool is absolutely brilliant for applying pressure on any platform. So it's well worth checking that out if you don't already have one. Plus I love the colour. So there we go. So I didn't apply enough ink there, but you can see I've got that in just the right place. Now let's use exactly the same stamp and let's go across to the Tonic Tim Holtz one. Now, one of the features, I have to admit, one of the features with uh, this platform, which is one of the biggest things, is that it does take both rubber and clear plates. So it has written on the side rubber, so you know that you're going to put your rubber stamps on one side and your clear on the other. So I'm going to just pop that in there. The reason being that rubber stamps and clear stamps are different depths. So it makes sense that you uh, need different heights within your stamping platform. So um, Tonic have decided to go with the removable lid that you flip over for different heights. So when you feel the lid, they actually have one has a dip down and one is raised up. Because the clear stamps are thinner, you need the raised up side, but you have clear written on the lid. So again, I'm going to just place this where I want it. I'm going to pick it up like so. Now imagine I've just moved that. Let's ink up my stamp. I'm not going to be too fussy with this as it's only an example. Now, so I've accidentally moved my paper. It happens. I think I've positioned it back in the right place, but I want to be sure. Now, with this, the only way you can actually ensure that that's lined up before pressing it down is by uh, not quite putting it down all the way, but you do have to hold it up. So if I show you here, I'm having to make sure that I'm not putting it down uh, all the way. Move my paper around. I can't flatten it completely, and it's not until it's completely flat and lined up that you know whether it's in the right place, but of course by then it's already touched the surface of the paper and actually there that didn't, I've made a complete disaster of this, it didn't actually um, stick very well to the platform either. So that may have been user error, but um, I definitely found that stuck better because I had that, that pressure that I could apply with the springing uh, element on the Creative Craft Products stamping platform. So I think I'm going to give this one um, three out of five stars for lining up your stamps and I'll give the Creative Craft Products one five out of five of course for that springing element. Now I've touched on the fact that you can use both rubber and clear stamps with the Tonic, tonic Temp Holtz one so that definitely gets five out of five for that. The Creative Craft Products one of course because you do have that larger gap between so you can use different depths of stamps too. So I think this one's also going to get five out of five for the variety of stamps that you can use with them. Now the last element that I'm going to mark with these before we add up all the stars out of 50 is the clearness of the plate and the ease of seeing through it, which I just think is really important. 
Now I have already touched on the fact that I like that we've got the nice big open grid and it is a clear plate. You can probably already see here that you've got a really intricate and detailed grid with the Tonic Tim Holtz one, which lots of people will like because you've got those uh, intricate measurements so you can be really precise with your measuring um, because these are, they're around about half centimeter grids. I'm not sure if that's exact, but that's around about what it is. I would say maybe quarter of an inch perhaps. But I do find that because they're so tiny and they're etched into the platform that that's actually distorting my view through a little bit. If I just put my stamped image through here, I'm put that down with the magnets, you can see how that's actually a little bit harder to see through there. Let's just put the same image into the Creative Craft Products one. Let's move that into the center. There we go. So that's much, much easier to see. So I think, um, although it's clear, I, I believe they're both going to be wipe clean. Certainly my Creative Craft Products one I've been using a long time and I clean it a lot. Uh, it's absolutely fine to clean. Um, and you have got the measurements that are on there as well. So I think uh, they both get a decent score, but I think I just need to give five out of five to the Creative Craft Products one and four out of five to the Tonic Tim Holtz one only because that is a little bit distorted through there. So they are the scores. Now let's add them all up. So out of a total of 50 stars, uh, or 50 points, the Creative Craft Products one, I personally would give, actually it's 49, it only lost a point um, on the size because it was slightly smaller. Um, and I would give the Tonic Tim Holtz one uh, 45 out of 50. So it's not far off, they're both really, really good stamp platforms. Either way, whichever one you're going for, you know that with Craftstash you're going to get the best price guarantee. And as I mentioned before, if you are a VIP member or you want to become a VIP member for only £9.99 or $14.99 for the entire year, you'll save 10% on all of your items, which includes tools like stamping platforms. If you like comparison videos like this and other tips and techniques, please do make sure to subscribe to our channel um, take a look at this tips video as well we think you'll enjoy that and check out here for our entire range of stamping platforms on craft stash